Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen where today I'm going to show you how to cook a really beautiful piece of fish. It's sea bream. I do love sea bream and this way it is so delicious. It's part steamed, part pan fried and it's got loads of flavours in there. It's got garlic, it's got tomatoes, it's got parsley. It's beautiful. Before we start, <laughs> just a little ask, please subscribe to my channel. Especially if you like this video, and then you'll see all of my videos, all the old ones, all the ones I'm going to do in the future too. So without further ado, let's get started with this fish dish. Here we have a couple of really delicious sea bream. So fresh, straight from the fishmongers. Look at those eyes. That's how you can tell a fresh fish. We're going to need one lemon, some garlic cloves that we're going to slice up. We're going to slice up quite a few of these uh, cherry tomatoes as well. Just cut them in half. We're going to need a pinch of chilli flakes. You can use more if you want it a bit hotter. It's completely up to you. Obviously, we're going to need a bit of seasoning. Our old friends there, salt and pepper. This parsley. That I grew in my garden. Now that is fresh. Look at the colour of that. Or you can just buy it from a shop. And some water just to make up our stock. So let's kick off, shall we? We'll take a pan, put it on a hob, add some cooking oil, fair amount, let that get hot, and then we can go in with our sea bream. And it goes once it's had a couple of minutes on one side, we'll turn it over and look at that deliciousness. That caramelisation, I love that taste. In we go with our sliced garlics. You can't beat some sliced garlics. They make everything tasty. Well, I think so anyway. I'm going to put a knob of butter in there just to give it a little bit of silkiness. Now we're going to let these garlics cook down just for a short while. Not too long, we don't want them to burn. And then we can add our tomatoes. Now they've been sliced, well cut in half really. In they go join the rest then we can go in with our chili flakes I'm just going to use one small pinch then we can go in with our parsley which has been chopped sprinkle that over the top then some seasoning got some salt and pepper haven't we really in that goes a bit more pepper yeah that should do then water it doesn't sound very exciting but now that's going to make a really delicious sauce in with some lemon juice just give it a little bit of sharpness all these flavors mingle together and it will really taste delicious so it's on with the lid and we're going to let this simmer gently for about 15 or 20 minutes and then you end up with this well actually can't see it can you Let's wait for the steam to clear. There it is. There's our beautiful sea bream. And look at that delicious, delicious sauce that's come from all of these flavours. Wonderful. Colours look good too. And boy, if you could smell this, guys, you would be amazed. This is a must-make dish. Now, you can make this with any fish, mackerel, bass, whichever fish you like it's so delicious in fact you'll find this is so delicious I'm gonna to have to have a taste test where shall we go just about here I think you can see how well cooked it is look at that lovely fresh white fish meat tasty get a little bit on my fork and off we go Mmm, now that is one really tasty piece of fish. It's got all those flavours in there. And, well, if you don't like fish, I'm sure you would like this. The garlic, the chilli, the parsley, and well, all the gubbins that goes in there makes it one wonderful dish. Evening meal, weekend meal, any time of the day meal. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Give me a like, give me a share. See you all again next time. Bye.